This is a real quick video on how to make a full structured song using the rhythm. You can use it alone, but if you're also using A4, this also incorporates the A4. Uh, just make one pattern. You can make as many as you want. You can expand upon this idea as much as you want. I just have one pattern, A1, and then I have two patterns this time for the A4 because I want a longer chord structure going on here so that's the second one that we got so I want to structure this out so it starts off minimal and builds up to this right so you can hold function go and edit song function edit song I've laid out already for the sake of this video not to do it and, and show you all the mute structure out uh, Make it quick and simple. So I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see I have A1, the pattern. Uh, it's going to loop this ch whole chain 99 times, which should be fine for me for a live performance setting. You don't have to structure this out with 16 of the same pattern or a chain with 16 patterns in it. You could do just two and or, or one and repeat it, and then you can hit function and yes to go down, make sure you have the numbers highlighted, function no, to get rid of those extra chains. You can highlight this chain and hit function clear, to clear it out and start over if you want. Um, the top one, the underscore, uh, double underscore is like your default, you know, when you're not in all this. And you just have like the, the chain down here. Anyway, hope I'm not too scattered. I'm trying to fire it all off, fresh on the mind. So we got 16 of the A1 pattern. You can highlight that that pattern if you'd like. I'll zoom back out here so you can see. Now you guys know what's going on, on the screens. It's identical up top for the A4. So identical up top for the A4. You can highlight the pattern. Use whatever bank you want. Select A2 and it swaps it out for you. So A1, 16 times all the way through. This number to repeat the chain, you change it by using the A parameter knob. So there's 99 for that. I did the same thing for the A4. To select this chain and have it play, can I say yes? I'll select the first pattern and hit yes. So now it's on that chain. Same for the, for the uh, rhythm. So A4 and the rhythm, we're gonna be playing these 99 times all the way through. So in a live performance setting, you just have this going and that should be it. The coolest thing I think about this, uh, for this whole method here, with the song, editing, and everything, I wanted to figure out forever was the same pattern is going all the way through, but in song mode, you'll see these are all blank. Now it's highlighted, the yellow indicates a mute. So rather than having, so we go towards the end, because it's the build up for pretty much everything's playing, I could put these two in there too if I want to change up my song structure and edit it like that. But that's it. And here you go, you can hear how it goes. Now you're free to edit your quick performance amounts. You can hold function, get out of edit mode for the song, so you don't change anything. I did mess up, and if you mess up on this and you're wondering why it's not working, make sure the song mode is on. Um, you could also use the chain as well, but song mode, so it, when you finish this chain, it'll go down to the next one if that's how you want to do it. Anyway, song mode's on, song mode's on. You still have all of your mutes here ready to go, and as it gets more into it, I'll show you. just our kick and on the fly too you can just go in here and change your mutes if you want to swap it up or something something you heard you didn't like or messed up get out of it there we go right so you're live maybe this is the second time through it's playing for your 16 bar pattern you can do this 
solo mute, retrig, compress it. And there we go. Pretty nice. Same thing. A little clap fill. I think that's great. I've not been using it like this and I don't know why. Hopefully this helps everybody out with making a better core structure song out. If you want to make a full-fledged long song, go for it. If you want to do a live performance setting where your core structure is there, but you're able to kind of edit it as you go, I think this is great.